So we have a fun little DIY today and it's gonna be with this bench. So basically, I've loved having this bench here but it's just a little too orangey for my taste. You can really tell on camera right here next to like our gray wood floors. And I've been trying to like lighten up all of our woods. I have a shopped around because I wanted a new bench but they are super pricey for the ones I'm wanting. So I thought this would be a fun project just to test out um, and just brave it to see if the bleaching the wood actually works. So I've seen a few influencers do this. I want to test it out. That way, if you guys are wanting to do it, we know if it works. So we're going to, this is going to be our guinea pig. If not, I'll just replace it because I needed to do it anyways. But I'm really hoping it does because there's a few other pieces that are the same like orangey color that I definitely want to lighten up. So I'm going to take all this off and take it outside because there's going to be a lot of chemicals and different things going on. So I definitely want to get it outside. I know that all I need is by my side When everything is wrong, you make it right The only one Here it is up close and you can just really see how orange it is the other reason I chose this piece is it should be fairly simple just because there's not um, like a lot of grooves and design to it. It's just very simple. This edge is a little natural. You can see right there it has like curve to it, but that shouldn't be hard to deal with. So just keep that in mind. If you're going to do this with a piece, I wouldn't start off with a really like ornate detailed piece. Keep it simple so that way you can actually test it to see if you enjoy the process and if you like how the color turns out before you do like a really hard hard piece. Here is a different angle just so you can kind of see it as well. I'm really hoping this works out because I bought this piece off Craigslist probably a couple months ago and I love the design of it but I wish it was a little bit lighter. So if this works I'll definitely be doing this piece soon and this should be a fairly easy piece too because it is bigger but the lines are still very simple and there's no like nooks and crannies. So this will be next on the list if I can get this one to go well. Brings me back to life. I've been trying to look for all of these things. If you're thinking about or planning on doing something like what I'm doing today, definitely watch the full video and stay till the end because I'm going to give you my review and my thoughts on this. So definitely don't just skim through and then go find a piece and start doing it. <laughs> I wanted to make that clear so you guys can hear my full review at the very end. And if you're new here, go ahead and click that red subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. But now we're going to go ahead and get started. This is gonna be step one. If your piece is really dirty, go ahead and clean it, but mine's ready to go. This is like a liquid sander almost. It's a declosser. So this is really good if you have to do some type of project inside. This keeps sand from getting everywhere. I will say we're gonna be sanding it as well just cause we're trying to lighten it up. But if you've never heard of this, definitely check it out cause it makes projects a little easier. When using this product, I highly suggest being outside or opening a window if you're gonna be inside doing like kitchen cabinets. Make sure you have airflow. Also make sure you have gloves on. And then I always use a rag that I can toss at the end so I don't have to worry about it getting in my washing machine or doing anything with it. Just use a spare old rag so you can just toss it when you're done. I did do two coats of this. I felt like this wood um, just had a really thick poly on it. Like I felt like it was really shiny. So definitely read the bottle, see the full instructions on how to do this, but it is an easier way than sanding if you're gonna be doing something indoors or if it's just got a lot of poly like urethane on it and you need to get it off. I 
did two coats of this just to help with like the shiny film on it. Um, you could probably skip this step if you don't have it and you have like different size or texture of um, your sander, but I only have this one. I'm hoping when I go to use this, it just really starts to take off that stain. If not, I'll have to remove the stain itself, but from my experience, if you sand long enough, it's just gonna come right off. And once again, since this isn't a very detailed piece, I can get away doing that because everything's pretty flat. So um, the electric sander should be able to get into like all the grooves and spots on it. If you do a lot of like painting projects or staining or building, I highly suggest getting an electric sander. It just makes life so much easier. You can just buy like sandpaper and sand things, but when you have big pieces, it is just so much easier to have an electric sander. Um, I didn't have one for years and now that I have it, I feel like you can just tackle projects just a little bit easier because it makes life a little bit easier and they're really not that pricey at all. They're affordable. So I'll link this one, like the one I have down below in my description box, but they have all different kinds, but I've been super happy with this one. So complicated All I wanted was your love In this time should we break it Cause I'm not staying anymore I've been waiting here before It is not the first time Thinking that you'll change this time No, I don't need a heartbreak So currently this is where we are after we sanded it I wasn't impressed, like I don't feel like a lot of the orange is coming off, so we're gonna kinda switch gears here. I am gonna clean this off really well because there's a lot of like, you know, sanding dust on it, but I'm gonna switch to this method. I've seen this a lot. I've seen the like, the wood bleaching and then this, and I think this is just gonna be so much easier since this has so much stain on it and it's so orange and I'm not wanting any orange. So we're gonna test this out. Like I said, I'm gonna clean this off and then I'm going to spray this on, let it sit for about 20 minutes. I'm gonna scrub it with the brush, rinse it. You let it dry for about 30 minutes and then you decide how many more times you're gonna do this. So it may take one, may take four. We will see, but I'm hoping to get rid of this orange. There are different kinds of easy off you can buy. Basically, I got the heavy duty because I'm doing it outside, which I highly suggest. If you're gonna do it inside, there is like a fume free version, but I still don't suggest doing it inside if you don't have to. So use your garage or yard, whatever. I did wanna show you the brushes we picked up just cause they're like really good, nice and strong. I had went in for this one, which I thought was nice, but I saw this one with the handle and I figure with scrubbing that may be nice to have. So once again, I'm gonna spray this onto the wood, let it set for 20 minutes, and then we're gonna start scrubbing it and then we'll rinse it off. Okay, so I just sprayed it. You guys saw what it looked like. This actually says deep clean in three minutes, so I'm probably not gonna wait as long 
as I would if I didn't get the heavy duty, just so you know. I just read that as I was spraying it. So I'm gonna go ahead and get these ready to go. And I'm just gonna start scrubbing. If it doesn't look like it's coming off, I'll just come back like five minutes later. But if it works, then I can go ahead and just start scrubbing all that stain off. I did remember as I was in this part of the process that someone did this in their grass and when they went to rinse the product off, it did kill the grass in that area. And since that's the view from my dining room, I decided to go ahead and move the bench over. I actually put it where we used to have our pool because the grass was dead anyway, so it worked out perfect. But if you're gonna be doing it in your yard, make sure you go in an area that you don't really see. So like on the side of the house or behind a shed, something like that. And all you do is rinse it off. And as you can see, if you look in that back, like left corner you can see all the color coming off of it so you can tell it's working but definitely stay tuned to hear my full review So here's what it looked like after we had sanded it and then we did our first coat of the easy off so now I'm gonna go ahead and do the second coat I will say you know originally it said to leave it on for about 20 minutes I couldn't do that here in Oklahoma. It was a really sunny, hot day, and so I noticed that the product was just drying into it, and then when I would come back to scrub it, it was already dry. So I would try to spray it, let it sit as long as I could, and then I would spray another layer on top of it when I came to start scrubbing it. So I don't know if that's where the process started going wrong for me, and maybe if I did it on a cooler day, it would have helped. Um, but you can see it does work. Like when you look at my brush, a lot of red and stain is coming off onto it. In between coats, I was rinsing off the brushes and it was super and quick to do, but make sure you're doing that just so those bristles stay a little bit soft and you can actually scrub with them and stains not just getting clumped up on it. Right here, you can kind of see what it's looking like. I'm gonna do another coat of this. This time I let it set a little bit longer. So on the next slide, you're gonna see it really did bleach it out for the meantime. So it is gonna look a little bit destroyed in the next scene. This is the part of the process that I always found odd that you take like a hose and you spray it down because we all know you really shouldn't get wood wet. So just be super careful if you're gonna be trying this on a piece of furniture. Make sure it's not something you love, love, love and can't be replaced. Um, make sure it's not like an heirloom or something that's been in your family for a while. I know a lot of people that attempt this do it on older wood and I think it works better. But also keep in mind they want you to like hose all of that product off because there's chemicals in it so you need to rinse it really well. So just keep that in mind when you're thinking about starting this project. So I used the entire can and this is all it did. As you can tell, it's a little bit lighter, but it's not like a big change. So Chase said, before we're finished, let's go ahead and try sanding it one more time just to see if that helps take off any more of that extra stain that's still on it. After 
Chase was finished sanding it, we went ahead and brought it in because I wanted to stage it back how I had at the beginning of the video just so we could see the before and after in the same lighting. Sometimes when you have lighting outdoors versus indoors, it can kind of throw the color. So when I first brought it in, I wanted to give it a good clean just because we had chemicals on it, we had been sanding it. So I'm gonna go ahead and wipe it down. And then I'm gonna work on cleaning the legs too. Just keep in mind, if your piece doesn't have um, wood legs, um, these were like wrought iron. That stain was being rinsed off onto it and I didn't realize it was like sticking to it. So I had to grab a cleaner to clean that off. Um, I probably should have been cleaning it as I was going. So just keep that in mind if you have a piece that looks just like mine. Just in case you have the same issue, my first cleaner was not cleaning it off. So once I grabbed the barkeeper's friend, that thing is like my saving grace. It cleans so many things. That's what actually worked to get that stain off the black legs. Now I'm gonna go ahead and get this staged just like I had it in the beginning of today's video. I'm gonna show you some before and afters, like side by sides of how it turned out. And then I'm giving you my full review. So we're almost finished, but definitely hang tight just a little bit longer so you can hear my thoughts. So here it is. <laughs> I will say it's less orange. I'll try to pop up a photo right here just so you guys can kind of see the comparison. But for the amount of work <laughs> and the time spent working on it, I don't feel like it's worth it. Um, I would not do this to, you know, um, like an antique wood furniture that's been in your family for a while. I know there's tons of videos and reels and TikToks where people have great results, but I will say with mine, I did not. I felt like it was a lot of work just to lighten it a few shades. Now having said that, I'm not an expert. I could have done something different, but just from what I watched other girls do, I followed those instructions and I don't feel like it did much. Now I will say it's reading a little more orange on camera than it does in real life, but it's nowhere near what I was going after. <laughs> so I'll say that. In my book, this is like a major fail. Um, if you have the budget just to buy a lighter piece of wood, I definitely suggest it. If you have time to keep doing this process, I don't know, do it for two or three days, maybe it would keep getting lighter. But it's just a lot of work. And in the end, I feel like I almost messed it up more <laughs> than made it better. Now, if it's a piece of furniture you can paint when you're done, like say you don't like it, but you can paint it, um, definitely try that. But if it's like a good piece of furniture and you don't wanna mess it up, I do not suggest doing anything I just did. <laughs> So, um, but that's why I love testing out these DIYs for you guys, just so you know to do it or not to do it. If you want to try it or if you don't, I'm just showing you my experience. I'm sure there's going to be a handful of you out there that's going to say, I did it and it turned out beautifully. The problem is, is every piece of wood is different and every furniture piece is different. So you just don't know what your results are going to be. So if you have the time and the energy, try it. If you have the money, I say go buy what you want <laughs> because this was a ton of work, I feel like. And all we did was like take the sheen off of it, lighten it up maybe a few shades, and that was about it. 
So I am gonna go ahead and end this right here. I do wanna say it still turned out like okay. Like it could set here, I could keep it and it's not like horrible. Like I don't feel like I destroyed it, but it's just not the look I was going after. But once again, I hope you guys have a wonderful week. Thank you so much for being here and I will see you guys in the next one. <laughs> Bye. See you next time. Smash like, subscribe.